Hello. For today's class, you will need some sort of flat surface. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a floor, even if it has a rug on it. Just make sure that the rug does not slip. A yoga mat will provide a little more stability in some of the poses that we will be doing, but it is possible to practice with no yoga mat. Other props that you will need are blocks. If you do not have yoga blocks, that's okay too. You can use hardcover, really thick books, like Harry Potter books. You can even stack a couple of books on top of each other to get them higher. Something else that will come in useful is padding for your knees. So this rubber mat or disc, I actually got on Amazon. But if you're home, you might have a blanket. This happens to be a fleece blanket that comes in a little pouch, but you can use any blanket. I'm just going to put this off to the side because I'm going to use, I actually have a rug underneath my mat, so that's enough padding for me for today. For the future, you may want to grab a yoga strap or you could use a belt or a strap from a bathrobe. We most likely won't need the strap today, so I'm going to move that off to the side also. Water is very useful to have nearby while you practice yoga. So come and find a comfortable seated position first. Now, once you sit, you might find that your low back is rolling back, or you might find that your knees are hiking up and your low back is, is curving back. If that's the case, or if you feel any pain at all, grab something to lift your hips up. So if you have yoga blocks, just place one of your yoga blocks underneath both of, both of your sit bones. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can sit on your books or that blanket. You can fold the blanket up and sit on that. In this yoga practice, we practice pretty much the entire class until the very end with a pranayama or breathing exercise that's called ujjayi breath. And I'm going to demonstrate this for you and then we'll do it together. So what ujjayi breath is, it's a whisper sounding breath. It, for some people, it sounds like an oceanic sounding breath. We use it in the practice to slow down our breath, to be able to feel the breath. And you'll also notice that you can hear your own breath. And if you practice with more people in the same room, you'll hear their breath. And it helps to bring your attention into your body and into what you're doing. So there are several stages to first learn Ujjayi breath. So the first stage is doing it with the mouth open on both the inhale and exhale. I'm gonna come closer to the camera to demonstrate this. The first stage, mouth open, inhale and exhale. Just watch me to begin. It looks and sounds like this. Now, before we do that together, I wanna to back up a moment and get you to feel the back of your throat. So everybody whisper the word whisper. Let's do that again together, but this time really feel what's happening in the back of your throat. Notice how those muscles constrict slightly. Let's whisper, whisper, whisper. Those are the muscles that you want to constrict ever so slightly running the breath along the back side of your throat. So let's do the first stage of Ujjayi together. Mouth open, inhale. Keep the mouth open, exhale the breath out.
Second stage, the mouth is open on the inhale, but the lips come slightly or gently rather together on the exhale and the exhale is through the nostrils, still making that whisper sound. I'll show it first, so watch and listen. Let's do this together. Open your mouth, inhale. Close the lips, exhale through the nostrils, make that whisper sound. Great. Third stage, which is the ujjayi breath, is inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils. So I'll show that first. So watch and listen. Let's do that together. Inhale through the nostrils, running the breath along the backside of the throat. Exhale all the breath out to get empty, exhaling through the nostrils. Great. Do three ujjayi breaths, just feeling your own breath. Feel how it slows down your breath. We're moving into deep breaths. I'm gonna back up so you could see my ribs on the camera. So bring your hands onto your side ribs. You can bring the elbows back. If that is inaccessible, just reach the arm, cross the arms in front of you and make sure that your fingers and maybe your hands are touching your side ribs. Inhale with ujjayi breath and expand these side ribs. Exhale all the breath out in ujjayi. Pull your belly back towards the spine at the end of the exhale. Again, inhale, expand your side ribs. Exhale all the breath out, get empty. Pull your belly back towards the spine. Do one more like that on your own, feeling your ribs move in your hands. Bring your hands back onto your thighs, onto your knees. And I'm gonna move back so that you can see more of me. Let's everybody stand up and move props off to the side so that you have room to stand on your floor or your mat. Active feet. This is something that we do while sitting as well as standing, but it's easier to feel initially when you're standing. So just have your feet about three to four inches apart. Make sure that your feet are parallel so the toes are, both sets of toes are pointing forward. Then step your left foot forward a couple of inches and I'm mirroring you here. Lift the left heel away from the floor. Now spread the toes across the floor and then lower the heel, lifting the toes away from the floor. Keep spreading your toes and you can look down and see those toes. Then step your right foot forward. So it's parallel with your left foot. Lift the heel, spread the toes across the floor. Lower the heel, keep spreading your toes. Now add to this, press into your feet. Keep your toes lifting and spreading. You might already start feeling some different sensations in your legs, muscles starting to light up. This goes along with another basic move that is called active hands. So keep your feet active, keep spreading your toes and pressing into your feet. Active hands is simply spreading through the palms and the fingers spread wide. Don't spread so much that your fingers start bending back 
in the direction of your elbows. Spread it just enough so you start feeling the bones spreading apart, making space through your palms. And now lower your arms, keep your active hands for a moment. Inhale, feel your active feet pressing into the floor. Exhale, pull your belly in, keep spreading through the palms. We're moving on to two other basic moves. Keep your feet active. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. Put one hand on your belly and one hand on your sacrum. And I'm gonna show this first. This is tucking the tailbone. Breathe in, expand your side ribs. Exhale, pull your belly in, use the hand on your belly, pull it in and slide the tailbone slightly down towards the floor. So I'm gonna move a little closer to the camera. My head will get cut off a little bit, but let's do this together. Bring either hand onto your belly and the other hand on your sacrum with the fingers pointing down. Active feet, press into your feet. Inhale, expand the side ribs. Exhale, pull the belly in. Now squeeze your sit bone muscles and slide your tailbone towards the floor. Feel, you may start feeling how your abdominal muscles start engaging, but also your buttocks, those sit bone muscles and the backs of your thighs really start engaging. This lengthens your low back, which is great for everyone, even if you don't experience low back pain in the moment. Now we're gonna add to that telescoping the ribs, bring the hands on the hips. Press gently down into your hands. Inhale, lift the bottom ribs away from the waist. Lift the mid ribs up higher. Then lift the topmost ribs straight up towards the ceiling. The head reaches up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, sliding the tailbone towards the floor. Activate your feet. Now relax your arms. Inhale, telescope your ribs without the help of your hands. Exhale, squeeze those sit bone muscles, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Great. That's most of the basic moves. We're gonna stay there or leave the basic moves there for a moment that we're using them as we go forward. And now it's time to sit back onto the floor. Make sure that you have a block nearby. We're going to be moving into abdominals. So lie on your back, have your feet resting on the floor. Feet are parallel. And just for a moment, bring your hands onto your low belly. Breathe in deep down into your low belly. Exhale, press the top ring of your sacrum. It's what connects your hips or around your hips really to your low back. Press that into the floor a little bit more and just feel how that tilts your pelvis up a little bit. Inhale, Roll your pubic bone away from your belly. So you're getting longer in the front body. Your low back may lift off the floor a little bit. Exhale, spread the low back into the floor. Keep pressing into active feet. Squeeze your sit bone muscles and tuck the tailbone slightly up towards the back of your knees. It's not lifting the hips away from the floor. This is a tiny little pelvic tilt. Inhale, allow the pubic bone to shift away from your belly. The low back may lift off the floor a little bit. Exhale, keep pressing into your feet. Spread your low back into the floor. Squeeze those sit bone muscles and ever so slightly tuck the tailbone towards the back of the knees. Inhale, pubic bone comes towards the floor. Just a little bit, keep pressing into your feet. 
Exhale, spread the low back into the floor. Squeeze the sit bone muscles and slide your tailbone up towards the back of the knees. Inhale, come back to neutral. We're going to move into an abdominal exercise. This is called abs with a block. Grab your block, place it between your thighs right on your pubic bone. Active feet. Now, clasp your hands behind the base of your skull and bring the head and the hands back to the floor. If you are pregnant, you're keeping the block on, but you're keeping your head down and you're repeating pelvic tilts. No breath holds, no pulling your belly down. Everyone else, well, everyone, inhale, spread your breath into the back. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up, squeeze your block. Keep pressing into your feet. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders away from the floor and pull your low belly down. Inhale, gently bring the shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders away from the floor. Lift with your abdominal muscles and not your neck or your chin. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Pull your low belly down. Keep pressing into your active feet. Inhale, lower the shoulders and head to the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up, squeeze your block. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up. Pull your low belly down. Inhale, shoulders and head to the floor. Unwind your hands, bring your hands back onto your low belly. Breathe there and feel. And then remove your block off to the side. Setting up for basic elbow to knee. If you are pregnant, you can do this, but keep the head on the floor. No breath holds, no pulling the belly down. But you can lift one knee over the hip as I cue that. And you can feel for moving your transverse abdominal muscles towards your center line when I tell everybody else to pull the belly down. Everyone else who's not pregnant, clasp your hands behind the base of your skull, bring the elbows up. Active feet, press into your feet. Spread your breath into the low back and lift the head and shoulders away from the floor. Hold the breath, spread the top rim of the sacrum onto the floor, scoop the tailbone up. Exhale, bring the left knee over the hip, both elbows point towards the left knee, pull your low belly towards the floor. Inhale, foot on the floor, come back to center. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, bring the right knee over the hip, both elbows towards the right knee, pull your low belly down. Inhale, foot back to the floor, the head and shoulders come back to center and they stay lifted. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left knee, active feet, pull your low belly down. Inhale, come back to center, keep pressing into both feet. Hold the breath, spread the low back down, scoop your tailbone up. Exhale, bring both elbows towards the right knee, pull your low belly down. Inhale, come back to center, both feet on the floor. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the left knee, pull the low belly down towards your spine. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath, scoop the tailbone up. Exhale, both elbows towards the right knee. Pull your low belly towards the spine. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower the shoulders, lower the head to the floor. Bring your hands onto your low belly. Breathe down into your belly and feel. Exhale, 
Exhale, rinse your breath through your low belly. Feel the heat that you're generating with these abdominal muscle exercises. Set up for bridge. Have your feet hips width or slightly wider. Then lower your arms to the floor. Take your heel to finger measurement. Longest fingers should graze the back of your heels. If you can't reach, that's okay, don't force it. If your knees hurt, that's okay, don't force it. Bring your feet as close to your hips as you can get them in that case, but no closer than where your longest finger can touch the back of your heels. Active feet, spread your toes, lift your toes. Spread your arms, bring the palms to face the ceiling. Cross into the feet, inhale, curl your pubic bone up, lift your hips up. Exhale, press into the feet. Inhale, lift your sternum towards the chin. Exhale, press into the feet, squeeze your sit bone muscles, press into your feet more. Inhale, feel your ujjayi breath. And as you exhale, come down slowly. Your upper back, your mid back, your low back. Keep scooping your tailbone up, then bring your pelvis to the floor. Inhale, feel along your spine and feel how much space you've created. Then turn all the way over onto your side. Rest your head on your, your, the arm that's on the floor. Have both palms on the floor, bend your knees. We're gonna come up with a relaxed neck. So as you inhale, use your hands, press into them, lift up, keep your head hanging. Even if you have glasses that are about to fall off like mine, then bring your left hand, I'm not mirroring you there, underneath your cheek and lift your head back up. Cat cow. I'm gonna show cat cow standing for those of you whose knees are so tweaky that padding is not enough to make them feel okay to be on the floor. What you'll do instead is a high standing squat. We also call this a variation of chair pose. Have your hands somewhere on your thighs. They can be mid thigh, just make sure they're not on your knees. And what you'll be doing for cat cow is inhaling, pushing your belly and your chest forward a little bit. Your chin can come up a tiny bit. Exhale, round the back towards the back of the room. Let your head hang. Pull your belly towards your spine. And you'll keep doing that with active feet, pressing into your feet, spreading your toes. If your knees are okay being on the floor, come down into tabletop. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drape the belly and drape the chest towards the floor. Exhale, round the back towards the ceiling. Press into your hands. Pull the belly towards your spine. Inhale, drape your belly, drape your chest down and pull it forward. Exhale, round the back towards the ceiling. Let your head hang. Pull your belly towards the spine. Inhale, drape your belly, pull your chest forward. Feel for lengthening through the spine. Exhale, round the back towards the ceiling. Let your head hang. Now press into your feet, the tops of your feet a little bit. Pull your belly towards your spine more. Inhale, come back to neutral. Turbo puppy. Before we get into turbo puppy, we're going to do wrapping the shoulder blades, which is another basic move. And I'm gonna come a little closer so that you'll be able to see my shoulders a little bit more. 
So bring your left elbow right in front of your shoulder. I'm gonna turn forward just so that you can see me. Make sure the elbow is not off to the side. Make sure it's not reaching in towards your center line. It's right in front of the shoulder. Active hands spread through the palm and the fingers. Have the elbow even with the height of your shoulder. It's not lower, not higher. Then inhale into the left shoulder. Exhale, send the shoulder down, shoulder blade down, and send your elbow forward. Now feel the muscles, the bottom tips of the shoulder blades, feel your armpits start lighting up. Relax that, bring your shoulder down and back a little bit. Breathe into the left shoulder. Exhale, shoulder down, shoulder blade down, send your elbow forward. Not your chest, just your upper arm bone and the elbow. We're gonna do the other side. Bring your right elbow right in front of your shoulder, active hands. Make sure that the elbow is lined up height-wise and left right-wise to your shoulder. Breathe into the right shoulder. Exhale, shoulder down, shoulder blade down. Set the upper arm bone and the elbow forward. Start feeling the muscles around the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Feel your armpit muscles start to engage. Relax that, bring the shoulder back, breathe in. Exhale, shoulder down, shoulder blade down. Send the upper arm bone and the elbow forward, not to your chest. Relax your arms just for a moment. I'm gonna turn forward. We're gonna do both arms together. Bring both elbows right in front of your shoulders. Make sure that they're not squeezing in or reaching out to the side. They're right in front of your shoulders. Breathe in through the whole upper back. Exhale, shoulders down, shoulder blades down. Send both of your upper arm bones forward. Feel how your upper back expands and broadens. Release that, bring your elbows back. Bring your shoulders back. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see this view. Breathe in. Exhale, shoulders down, shoulder blades down. Send your upper arm bones forward. Feel your upper back, feel your armpits. Relax that. That is wrapping your shoulder blades. So we're going to incorporate that into Turbo Puppy. Come onto your hands and your knees back into tabletop. Then walk your hands forward four inches. Relax your neck. Bend your elbows halfway towards the floor. Breathe in through the upper back. Exhale, squeeze your elbows towards each other. Wrap your shoulder blades towards the armpits. Relax your neck a little more. Inhale, stretch the breath into your upper chest, near your collarbones. Exhale, squeeze your elbows more. Start feeling what's happening in your armpits, what's happening in your upper back, near the bottom tips of your shoulder blades, and what's happening in your collarbones. Keep pushing into your hands. Then inhale, straighten your arms. Moving into down dog. I'm gonna demonstrate this first. Hands can stay forward that four inches. Relax your neck. Press into your hands. And I want everybody to micro bend their elbows. A lot of people have very flexible joints. And instead of overextending in your elbow joints. I want everybody to micro bend their elbows. Then relax your neck. Push into your hands, spread your fingers. You're activating your hands on the floor. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades towards the armpits. You can feel for squeezing the elbows towards each other. You can stay here if this feels like your pose for today. But if you have further to go, exhale, lift the knees away from the floor. Don't walk your feet forward, keep them where they are. If your low back is really tweaky, bend your knees, sit bones up and back. 
If your hamstrings are okay and your low back is okay, you can work towards straightening your legs. It's okay if the heels are not on the floor. Push into the hands, breathe into your upper back. Exhale, wrap your shoulder blades towards the armpits. Keep pressing into your hands. Bring your knees down. We're gonna do that again. That was a long demo, so if you did that with me, that's okay, we're going to do that again. Press into your hands, breathe into the upper back. Exhale, wrap the shoulder blades towards the armpits, tuck the toes, lift the knees if you have further to go. If you feel like you need extra support, do not walk your feet towards your chest. Instead, widen your feet a little bit. They can be hips width apart, they can be four inches apart. Press into your hands, breathe into the upper back. Exhale, wrap your shoulder blades towards the armpits. Sit bones up and back. Take a deep ujjayi breath, expand your side ribs. Exhale, all the breath out, get empty. Bring your knees down. Sit back in embryo pose. Embryo pose is resting back on your heels. Forehead could be on the floor. Your forehead could also be on a block, if that's better for your low back, hands beside the hips, palms up. If that is uncomfortable on your low back, options. Grab that blanket. Place your blanket between your calves and the backs of the thighs and rest your head on a block. And the block can be on any height that works for you. If that still is very uncomfortable, especially on the low back or the knees, instead, come up onto your shins, bring the hands onto your hips, Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze the bottom part of your buttocks, those sit bone muscles, and slide your tailbone down. Then, moving on to basic sun. So grab both of your blocks. I just need to adjust my mat because it likes to walk across the rug. Have your blocks on the outer front edges of your mat, on the highest width, or highest height, rather. We're gonna start on hands and knees with the hands on your blocks. Inhale, step the left foot forward between your blocks and your hands. Active feet, both feet, spread your toes, lift the toes on the front foot. Sink your hips forward and down. And you might have to adjust your blocks forward to keep feeling supported. Press into that right foot strongly. Inhale, telescope your ribs away from your waist. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the back of the right heel. Get your breath big and feel the luxuriousness of your own breath. Inhale into your front side ribs. Exhale, pull your belly in, slide the tailbone towards the floor. We're coming into plank pose, so just move your blocks off to the side. Bring your hands down, step back. If that's uncomfortable, you can keep your hands on the blocks until you come back into tabletop. Walk your knees back about four inches. If you're pregnant, instead of this, what you're doing instead is telescoping the ribs in this move. If doing this already brings sharp pain into your low back, then you're doing that pregnancy move of telescoping your ribs. Everyone else, have your shoulders over your wrists. Spread your fingers, active hands, press into the tops of the feet. 
Now pull your belly in, squeeze those sit bone muscles down the backs of your thighs. And I want you to tuck your toes, inhale, lift the knees away from the floor. Pull your belly in, keep pulling your belly in, just lower the knees back to the floor, tops of the feet on the floor. Shoulder blades away from the ears, exhale, lower all the way down, keep pulling your belly in the whole way down. Low cobra, move your hands forward 12 inches. Come into a long sphinx where the elbows are about an inch in front of the line of the shoulder. Curl the pubic bone into the floor, press into your hands, inhale, pull the ribs forward and up. Bring your elbows two inches away from the floor. Pull the ribs forward, lower to the floor, hands beneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes, down dog, exhale. If down dog does not work for you, come into tabletop. Lunge, inhale, lightly step your right foot forward. Grab both of your blocks, hands on the blocks, hips forward and down, press into your feet. Tabletop, I'm gonna show keeping the hands on the blocks, just step your right foot back. Keep your hands on the blocks if you have them. We're going to do another round like this. So step your right foot forward, sink the hips forward and down, press into your feet, inhale, If you have further to go, you can walk your hands up onto your thigh. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Hands come onto your blocks again. Step back, move your blocks off to the side, coming into plank. Lift your knees away from the floor, and if you need to adjust your feet so your shoulders can be over your wrists, do that. Lower the knees, pull your belly in, breathe in here. Exhale, lower down, belly and chest come down at the same time. Both with palms up, rest your forehead on the floor. Bring the hands beside the hips, palms up. Now squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other, slide the shoulder blades away from the ears. Curl the pubic bone towards the floor. Inhale, lift the chest and the arms, including the hands. Now if your low back feels okay here, exhale, lift your legs. Keep squeezing those sit bone muscles. Look at the floor, lengthen the back of your neck. Breathe in. Lower down to the floor, hands beneath the shoulders. Exhale, down dog. You can make this tabletop if that's what works for you. Launch, inhale, lightly step the left foot forward. Grab your blocks if you're using them. If you're ready, you can just bring your hands onto your thigh. Squeeze your buttocks, your sit bone muscles. Breathe in. Exhale, let your breath be longer. Hands back onto your blocks. Come back into your modified tabletop for a lunge. Again, third round. Inhale, this time the left foot forward. Sink the hips forward and down. Press into both feet. If you're ready, hands on your thighs. Hands back onto your blocks. Step back into tabletop. Blocks off to the side. Hands on the floor. Plank. Tuck your toes. Lift the knees. Pull the belly in. Breathe in. Lower just the knees. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Exhale. Lower to the floor. Chest and belly come down at the same time. Boat with palms facing the floor. Rest the forehead on the floor. Hands beside the hips, palms on the floor. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Curl the pubic bone into the floor, press into your feet. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms and the hands. Spread your fingers, activate your hands. If you have further to go, exhale, lift the legs, pressing back through the balls of the feet. Lower all the way to the floor. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, down dog. Lunge, inhale, lightly step the left foot forward. Grab your blocks if you're using them or bring your hands onto your left thigh. Exhale, step back into tabletop. And then stand up. 
Moving on to some standing poses, warrior two, telescoping the ribs. So first, let's just check in with how our basic moves are going, how our breath is coming along. Active feet, spread and lift your toes. And if it's more comfortable for you, widen your feet so that the ankles line up with your hip joints. Spread your toes, lift your toes, press into your feet. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, squeeze your sit bone muscles, the bottom part of your buttocks, and use those muscles to help slide your tailbone a little bit towards the floor, activating your abdominal muscles. Now, isometrically squeeze your inner leg lines towards each other and relax your shoulder blades down the back. Luxuriate in your deep breath as you spread it into your upper back. Rinse the exhale through your mid back. Warrior two, separate your feet four feet apart. If you're really tall, that might have to be four and a half feet, maybe five feet if you're super tall. I'm mirroring you here. So rotate your left toes to face the front of the mat. Bend your left knee. The knee comes right over the ankle. If your knee is very painful in this position, you could bring the knee back a little bit. But if you can, bend the knee so it's right over the ankle. Look at your right toes and point your right toes one inch towards the front of the mat. So the toes are not pointing straight towards the side of the mat. We're gonna keep our arms down for this version of warrior two. Lift your chin up. Hands on your hips. Press down into your hips. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Lifting the bottom ribs, then the mid ribs, then the top ribs. Pull your belly in, squeeze the bottom part of your buttocks, your sit bone muscles, and slide your tailbone towards the floor. See how these active moves now work in poses. Warrior two, telescoping the ribs. Active feet, spreading and lifting the toes on the front foot, spreading the toes on the back foot. Inhale, expand your side ribs. Exhale, pull your belly in, slide your tailbone down, and that might enable you to get that left knee to be directly over the left ankle. Then, gonna do the other side. So push into that left foot strongly. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Parallel the feet. Relax the arms for a moment. Then, turn your right toes towards what's now the new front of the mat. Bend the right knee. So it's right over the ankle. Left toes come forward about one inch. Activate your feet, spread your toes, lift the toes on the front foot, keep pressing down into your feet, then bring your hands onto your hips. Press down into the hips, inhale, telescope the ribs towards the ceiling. Exhale, pull the belly in, slide your tailbone towards the floor, get your buttocks activated, squeeze those sit bone muscles. Get your breath bigger. Inhale into your side bottom ribs. Exhale, sink a little lower. Make sure the right knee doesn't come in front of the ankle, but you can even look down for a moment to see that it's stacked right over the ankle. And then press into your right foot. Inhale, straighten the leg, parallel the feet. Heel toe the feet together just for a moment. Have your ankles right underneath your hip joints. Relax your arms. I'm gonna check in with the basic moves again. Press into your feet, spread and lift your toes. Inhale, telescope the ribs. 
Exhale, pull the belly in, squeeze your sit bone muscles and slide your tailbone towards the floor. Now, lift your chin so that it's even with your jawbone. And that is impossible to see unless you have a mirror right in front of you or beside you. But you can feel that if you're looking down, your chin's gonna be lower. If you're looking up, your chin's gonna be higher than your jawbone. So just feel for the chin to be somewhat even with your jawbone and then slide the back of the skull straight back. The last basic move, which I alluded to when we came up off the floor is relaxing the neck. So in a standing pose, when we're standing straight up, the most relaxed the neck could be is the head is stacked on top of the shoulders and the shoulders stacked on top of the hips. The spine still has this natural curve, including the neck, but you're not jutting your chin forward or lowering the chin towards the floor. But in other poses, relaxed neck is actually allowing the head to hang towards the side. In this case, I'm mirroring you, left ear towards your left shoulder. This might be painful for some of you, and if it is, you can try turning your chin down towards the floor. That brings the stretch in a different part of your neck, and that might feel better for you. If neither of those work, you can lift your head just a little bit so that you're not relaxing it all the way, but feel for lengthening through the neck. To come out of a relaxed neck, bring your left hand, I'm mirroring you, on the bottom side of your cheek. Rest your head in your hand. Inhale, lift your head up. The same thing works on the other side. That was our interlude between poses. Our next pose is warrior two with shoulder shrugs. Now I'm actually going to, well, I'm gonna start off facing you, but the second side, I'm gonna turn around so you see my back. Separate your feet again, four feet apart. Rotate the left toes to face the front of the mat. I'm mirroring you here, bend your left knee, right toes move forward one inch. Arms stay relaxed. Bring the shoulders over your hips. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. That's just setting up in your warrior two so that you feel grounded and strong. Now, bring your breath up between the shoulder blades. Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders straight up, squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze, drag down your back. Relax your arms and your shoulder blades. Spread the breath between the shoulder blades. Exhale, squeeze straight back. Squeeze and drag down your back. Breathe into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades. Add your elbows to squeeze and drag down your back. Stay here. I'm just turning around so you can see my back for the second side. Breathe into the upper back. Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders straight up, squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze, drag down your back. Relax your arms, spread the breath into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze straight back, squeeze, drag down your back. Spread your breath into the upper back. Exhale, bring your elbows in. Squeeze the bottom tips of your elbows and the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Squeeze, exhale, drag down your back. Relax the arms. Push into your left foot. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Parallel your feet and we're coming into the other side. So rotate your right toes to face what's now the new front of your mat. Bend the knee right over the ankle, left toes come forward just an inch, squeeze those sit bone muscles, telescope the ribs up, breathe in. Exhale, squeeze the sit bone muscles to send your tailbone down. Shoulder shrugs, saturate your upper back with your breath. 
Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders straight up, squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze, drag down your back. Breathe into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze straight back, squeeze, drag down your back with your shoulder blades, not with your arms. Bring your breath into your upper back. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades, add your elbows, squeeze, and drag down your back. Relax your arms for another round. Balloon your breath into the upper back. Hold the breath, shrug the shoulders straight up, squeeze straight back. Exhale, squeeze, drag your shoulder blades down the back. Relax the arms, saturate your upper back with breath. Exhale, squeeze straight back, squeeze, drag down the back. Keep your skull centered and lifted away from your shoulders. Breathe into the upper back. Exhale, squeeze bottom tips of shoulder blades, add your elbows, squeeze, drag down your back. Relax your arms. Inhale, press into your right foot, parallel your feet. Heel toe your feet back so that your ankles are right underneath your hip bones. Another checking in to how you feel. Activate your feet, press into your feet, relax your arms. You don't need to do active hands here, but just let your hands relax. Push into your feet, squeeze those sit bone muscles, breathe in, telescope your ribs up. Exhale, slide your tailbone towards the floor. Lift the skull towards the ceiling. Inhale into your upper back and notice how that feels. Rinse your breath through your upper back. Spread your breath into your mid back and feel there. Exhale, rinse your breath out, feeling for letting go a little bit, but no collapsing. Keep your active feet and pressing into the feet going. Balloon your breath into your low back, feel there. Exhale, all the breath out to get empty, pull your belly back towards the spine. Feel how that supports your low back. And when you support your low back, you support your mid back and your upper back. Inhale, feel for bringing your breath from the pressing down into your active feet all the way up your legs and all the way up your spine. Exhale, all the breath out, soften without collapsing. Keep your stance strong, but feel where you can relax. Shoulder blades away from the ears is a good place to start. Then come to sit. And you're going to use both of your blocks here. Just moving some props off to the side. We're setting up in Shavasana. So you can watch me set up first and then I'll talk you into it again. So if your spine, especially the low back, is so tweaky that lying on the floor is actually painful, what you'll be doing instead is a seated meditation. You could sit up on a wooden chair. So it's a hard chair, not a couch if that's better for you. Or if you're on the floor and that's sort of okay, but you just need to lengthen through the low back, sit up on a block. Keep the, the top of your skull centered over your shoulders, lifting the skull away from the shoulders, sliding your shoulder blades down the back, pulling your belly in. You can close your eyes here 
If that's not comfortable, just pick a spot on the floor, four feet in front of you, and soften your gaze there. Drop your ujjayi breath and just softly breathe. For those who, whose low backs are fine coming onto the floor, Shavasana looks like this, and I'll show you a couple of different options. I'm gonna have my blocks nearby as an option. Lying on your back, option one, I'll just move the block so that you can see this, is feet stay flat on the floor, but have them as wide as your mat, and then knock your knees together. Your hands can rest on your belly, or you could have your arms on the floor, palms up. This is great for people's, people whose low back is a little tweaky, and this might lift some of that pressure off of your low back. If you have further to go, you can straighten your legs. But here, what we're going to do is not have them completely straight on the floor. We're gonna bring blocks, not underneath the knees, but underneath the thighs, right above the back of the knees. If you have a bolster at home, you can use a bolster instead. Let your feet splay out to the side. Let your upper back and the shoulder blades rest and get heavy on the floor. Let your deep ujjayi breath go. Let yourself sink into the floor. If you're practicing at home, you can continue your Shavasana. You could just hit pause right here and continue. If you have places to go, bring your attention back to your whole body. Take a deep breath in. Fill the whole space, the core. That space is from the bottom of the pelvic bowl all the way to the top of the skull. And rinse your deep breath down through and along your spine, all along the back, upper back, mid back, low back. If you're on the floor, bend your knees. If they're not, Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. Pause, breathe into your low back. And if you were using blocks or another prop, you might wanna just shift them off to the side. And this is where we're going to practice coming up with a relaxed neck. So turn all the way over onto your side. Rest your head on the arm that's on the floor. Have both palms on the floor. Inhale, press into your hands, but lift your torso up. Let your head and your neck stay relaxed all the way up. Once the torso is up, 
I'm mirroring you. Use your right hand on your cheek and lift your head back up. Come back into your comfortable seated position. If that means coming up on a block or even grabbing a wooden chair and sitting up on that, do that. Inhale into your low back. Just notice what has shifted and changed. Exhale, rinse your breath through your low back. Inhale into your mid back, expand your mid ribs. Exhale, pull your belly in, keep the ribs lifted. Spread your breath into the upper back. Get it to even move up in the shoulders, underneath the, the shoulder blades. Exhale all the breath out, get empty. Then bring your hands in front of your heart. Spread your fingers. So it's active hands here without spreading them too much. Inhale, this time into your heart. Namaste. The translation that I like for Namaste is that which is sacred within me greets that which is sacred within you. So thank you.